Hey dudes, Dude the Builder here, and in this episode of Zigmaster, we're going to be taking a look at some of the issues that you may have when dealing with different versions of Zig and ZLS, the language server for Zig. Um, in the first video of this series, we set up a configuration using Zig 0.12, the, the, the stable download, and ZLS, we, we built ZLS, uh, basically the, the, the master branch of ZLS, uh, the development branch, with that ZIG 0.12, and we had no problem doing that. And um, then we uh, installed NeoVim and configured it with the kickstart configuration. Um, we, uh, th that configuration works, but let's open up here main.zig, and you're going to see that at the bottom here we have a message that's saying that um, we have zig.0.12 um, should be used with ZLS 0.12.0 but we are using ZLS 0.12.0-dev and um, that suffix so basically since we built ZLS from the master branch uh, of the ZLS uh, github repo um, we're not using a, a, a released ZLS, okay? So that's why we get this message. Now, we don't have actually a problem with this because uh, it turns out that we, we, we were able to build ZLS without any problems using the 0 0.12.0 uh, version of Zig. Now, let's see what happens. We are going to move over to the browser And uh, let's go to ziglang.org. Let's go to downloads. And here we have the master, master development version of Zig. So let's go to Linux. Here um, I'm, I'm copying this link. Um, I forgot to mention in, in the previous video that uh, I'm recording this with OBS. When I right click here and select copy link, you're, you won't be seeing on the video the, the right click menu for some reason. Maybe it's kind of like the window capture feature of OBS. It's, it's not handling the, the, that uh, context window properly. But uh, believe me, I'm seeing here the context menu and I am selecting uh, copy link. Okay. And let's move over back to the terminal. And here, let's go to our home directory. Let's go to download and let's do a wget. Okay. Let's clear this. Let's see what we have. Okay, we have the directory for the, uh, the 0 0.12.0 that we downloaded yesterday. And this would be the download for the master of zig let's do a tar xf zig it's 13 okay now we can remove the zig to tar xv let's see what we have okay so there is the this would be the corresponding to the master uh, branch of Zig already working the, on the 0 0.13 version. If we look inside of that, whoops, we're going to see that we have the Zig um, executable. So let's uh, right now, if we do a Zig version, we still have 0 0.12.0. Let's move over to user local bin. Let's do a sudo rm zig to my password. So zig is gone. sudo ln s till dl zig 13 zig. Okay. Let's move over back to our home directory. Let's do a zig version again. And now we have zig 0.13. So if we move to the download and we move to ZLS, okay, let's do a git pull just in case we got the latest 
uh, updates there of ZLS. And now let's do a zig build. Okay. And as you can see here, we are getting uh, an error message which states that uh, the version that they are expecting is zig 0.12.0 and we are trying to use another version, in this case the development 0.13 version. Okay, So this is uh, the type of, of, of situation that you may run into when you're trying to uh, work with the master branch of zig and uh, the master branch of ZLS. Um, let's see another scenario. Let's go back to the browser. Okay, and let's search for ZLS. Uh, let's go here. This is the repository. Let's go over to the wiki. And you're going to see this uh, link here. It says installation. Okay basically gives you some instructions and here we have some uh, links to uh, the latest nightly build of ZLS so um, we're working with uh, x86 64 Linux so I'm going to copy once again here copy this link and let's move over to the terminal here let's move to our home directory to our downloads let's do a wget whoops let's do a wget of that download link okay so uh, basically it's telling us that it's trying to download it's called zls and we already have uh, something named zls here so um Let's uh, make here a subdirectory here, ZLS bin, ZLS bin, and let's do that wget another one more time. Okay, let's clear the screen, see what we have here, and we have a uh, ZLS binary. Let's do a change mod to make that executable. See that one more time. Let's try to run that CLS. Let's do a control C. Now, um, if we go to our user local bin directory, I'm going to do a sudo rm CLS. That's gone. So do ln s till dl cls bin cls. There we go. Go back to our home directory. Now, if we run cls, there it is. Okay, and now if let's do a vi code zig hello src main. And uh, as you can see, we still have this message because uh, that uh, binary that we downloaded um, is indeed uh, a build of the ZLS master branch, just like the one that we made um, earlier with our zig 0.12. Okay, so um, now the message that we're getting is, uh, although it looks similar, it's actually different because uh, before it was telling us that we were using zig 0.12 with ZLS um, 0.12 dev something and now it's telling us that we're using ZLS 0.12 with zig 0.13 dev something okay so um, it's basically warning us that there could be a mismatch there um, in terms of the functionality of ZLS and the actual um, uh, programming language version Okay, so that's another scenario uh, that we can have, and you have to be aware of that. Um, uh, basically, when there is a, a stable release of ZLS uh, 0 0.12.0 that's tagged, let's go back to the browser. Um, if we go here, um, code, um, you will see here in the releases area. Right now, the latest release is 0 0.11, okay? When they do release uh, 0 0.12, it will appear in this releases area of GitHub. 
um, let's let's um, download let's look here for um, ZLS this is ARC 64 x86 Linux okay let me copy this link now let's go back to the terminal let's exit out of here um, let's go to DL CLS bin let's remove this CLS okay there's nothing there let's do a wget okay let's see what we got um, it's a tar xz let's do a tar xf that file see what we have here we can remove now that file and here in the bin directory there you go there is zls so um, let's see the user local bin let's clear the screen here let's do an rm oh, whoops sudo rm cls sudo ln s till dl uh, zls bin z whoops right bin cls okay let's go back to our home directory now if we do zls permission denied because the well we can do it from here chamad dl slash zls whoops forgot the dl zls bin bin zls now we do a zls okay there we go this is the zls uh version uh 0 0.11 okay so now let's vi code zig hello search scene and got zig and what's the message uh telling us now it's it says we're um zig uh 0 0.13 dash dev is newer than ZLS 0 0.11 okay um, which could cause problems because the language is way ahead of the uh, language server version okay um, let's go back to the, tr the browser one more time let's move over to ziglang.org let's go to download let's see if they have the 0 .11. Uh, 0.11 yes let's go for the Linux x8664 copy this go back to the terminal let's go to DL let me do a wget of this okay let's see what we got star zig Whoops, XF Zig 0.11. Okay, I can remove now Zig 0.11.tar.xz. Let's look at the directories. Okay, let's clear the screen. Let's go back to user local bin. Let's do a sudo rm zig sudo ln s tell dl zig 0 0.11 zig there we go let's go back to the home directory let's do a zig for whoops zig version 0 0.11 let's do a code zig hello so c uh, main and now we don't get any message because we are using the ZLS 0 0.11 release with the Zig 0 0.11 release. Okay, so um, that's uh, basically what I wanted to demonstrate um, in terms of the, the the types of issues that you may encounter when you're trying to uh, match different versions of Zig with different versions of ZLS. Um, it may be that you can successfully use uh, different versions, but it depends if, if one is uh, development and the other is stable 
and if one is uh, too uh, too recent compared to the other one, which is uh, too uh, out of date compared to the the version that you're trying to use of the counterpart component. So I hope you find this uh, useful. Do the builder here. I'll see you in the next one.